Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to Championship Predictions. Yet the Championship is back for the midweek. I think this is the second midweek they've had this season. Obviously coming up to the Christmas period it gets very busy for the Football League. Um, you know, a few results over the weekend didn't quite go to plan. Um, I'll get down to them as I'll get down to the fixtures for the teams. Um, but anyway guys, you know what I'm trying to do, try get to a thousand subs come the end of the season. The best way you can help me do that is by uh, subscribing to my, my channel um, itself and sharing my videos, letting people know about my channel and there will be a special video once that is reached. But anyway guys, you know what I do, so guys you know what to do, subscribe for more, thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game we're going to talk about is Cardiff City versus Stoke City. Cardiff um, drawing 2-2 with Charlton Athletic away um, you know very much of you know going to him down in that game I'll speak more about that in a minute Stoke beating Wigan Athletic 2-1 at home and um, big three points for Stoke um, overall um, let's talk about that Cardiff game first. Uh, Cardiff went 2 0 down. I think they 2 0 down at half time um, in that game. And then they made a very big statement by, um, you know, coming back 2 2 and showing the fight. Uh, Stoke, on the other hand, beating Wigan 2 1. Um, that's a very big statement from Stoke, as far as I'm concerned. You know, you got the likes of um, where they've been so far this season, beating you know relegation candidates in Wigan. I think it's going to be alright from now on. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a one-all scoreline for that one. My next one is Fulham versus Derby County. Fulham beating QPR 2-1 on the Friday night. Um, Derby County beating Preston 1-0 at home. That's a great three points for Derby. Um, you know, beating Preston at home, I know it's a lot easier when you play clubs like Preston at home than whether at Deepdale. Um, you know, because you've got the home support on your side. Fulham beating QPR 2-1 in the London Derby, um, you know, great three points for Fulham. I think that's second win on the bounce for Fulham now. Um, you know, you it's going to be interesting where Fulham end up. Will they end back up in the Premier League? Um, obviously, still a long way to go, still a lot more twist and turns. But as far as this one goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Fulham win. My next one is Huddersfield versus Swansea. Um, Huddersfield 1 1 with Birmingham at home. Swansea losing 1 0 at home to Millwall. Disappointing day for Swansea. Um, I think I'm down to get all three points in that one. Um, Huddersfield going one nil down. I think yet again they're still trying to find their new fit on the landing management. Um, you know it does take time, so fair play for Huddersfield for picking that point up. As I said, a disappointing day for Swansea. Um, but as far as this game goes, I go for a two nil Huddersfield Town win. Don't let me down, Huddersfield. Sw uh, sorry, Swansea fans. Um, my next one is Luton Town versus Charlton Athletic. Charlton beating Cardiff City 2-1 at home. Um, you know, very much a good free... Uh, sorry, no, Charlton 2-2 at home to Cardiff, sorry. Um, you know, as I said, Charlton went 2-0 up in that game. If I was a Charlton fan, I would be very disappointed with uh, Cardiff coming back 2-2. Um, Luton Town losing 2 1 at home to Leagues. Um, you know, we still got to summon Luton up as 
really newly promoted to the championship. Um, but, you know, they gave leagues a real go. And by the looks of that result, looks like they gave them a go. It's just unfortunate that leagues got the three points. But as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Chelten Athletic win. My next one is Millwall versus Wigan. Millwall beating Swansea 1-0 away from home. And, you know, very good three points from Wigan. Uh, from Millwall, sorry. Um, Wigan losing 2-1 away from home to Stoke. Um, can't really summon anything up on the Wigan point of view. Uh, done mostly on the state point of view. Um, but if Wigan are going to survive, they're going to have to start picking up points quickly. Um, Millwall, I just said it, great three points for Millwall. Um, you know, but you still will go to Swansea and get results, so fair play to you, Millwall. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-0 Millwall win. My next one is Blackburn versus Brentford. Um, Blackburn beating Barnes, Barnsley 3-2 at home. Brentford beating Reading 1-0 at home as well. So both teams have had the home fish of this weekend. Both had the luxury of playing at home. Um, great free points for both teams. Uh, what, who would I say had the harder game? I'll probably go Reading because they, you know, I've been picking up the odd result of late. Um, but great free points for both teams. Both teams got going with confidence for this weekend. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 Blackburn win. My next one is Hull City versus Preston North End. Hull City drawing 2-2 away to Millsbar. And Hull City coming back um, to, from 2-0 down in that game as well. Preston losing 1-0 away from home against Derby. Um... Disappointing day for Preston, great day for Hull, I think Hull should have got the three points near the end of that game, but didn't, so they'll probably be happy with a point, um, you know, if you're a Hull fan, please feel free to put a comment down below how you feel about that, um, but in my, in my um, opinion, I think Hull should have got the three points of that game after going back 2-2, um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for, I'm going to, Call it a bit of a shock, and I'm going to go for a 2-1 hole win. My next one is Middlesbrough versus Barnsley. Barnsley losing 3-2 away from home to Blackburn. Middlesbrough 2-2 um, at home to Hull. As I've already said, Middlesbrough did go 2-0 up in that game. Um, Hull coming back 2-2. Uh, you know, Middlesbrough could be very disappointed and luckily not to lose it. Um, Pochettino has been sat. Who's going to be next at the exit door for the, in the championship? My opinion, I think it'd be Jonathan Woodgate. But if you're a Middlesbrough fan, please feel free to put your comments down below as well. Um, you know how you feel about Jonathan Woodgate as manager? Would you like to see him at the exit door? Um, but, you know, both teams are going in, well, Middlesbrough went going in with a point for this game, Barnsley going in with a defeat, and both teams got to be low on confidence, no matter that Middlesbrough has got that point because of the whole City comeback, um, so I'm going to go for a one all scoreline for that one. My next one is QPR versus Nottingham Forest. Um, QPR... QPR losing 2-1 away to Fulham. Um, disappointing day that was for QPR. Um, Notch Forest 0-0 against Bristol City away from home. 
That is probably a playoff game. I know it's still early, I know there's a lot of twisted turns, but I got a funny feeling that that Bristol City and Knox Forest game would be the first semi final playoffs. And if I remember rightly, it's third versus sixth and fourth versus fifth. So I reckon one of these teams are going to finish sixth, the other one's going to finish third, and that's going to be the first playoff game. Um, but, you know, it's going to be an interesting game going forward. But as far as this game goes, I'll go for a 2 1 Nottingham Forest win. My next one is Sheffield Wednesday versus Birmingham. Birmingham 1 1 at away to Huddersfield. Um, yeah, Birmingham 1 0 up in that game as well. Um, Sheffield Wednesday lose a 2-1 away from home against West Brom. Nothing to be disappointed about there if you're a Wednesday fan. West Brom are a team to beat, um, you know, this season. The top is so tight, it's changing hands week in, week out. Um, but it makes it more interesting for me to predict and also my opinions. Um, you know, with the likes of how it changes, then it obviously like how the whole table changes, it does change my opinions every week and you probably know that already. Um but both teams going see you've got to still look at Birmingham as they you know, still finding themselves again after going about three, four years of dodgy period sort of thing, relegation battles. Um but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a three one Birmingham City win. My next one is West Bromwich Albion versus Bristol City. West Bromwich Albion 2-1 at home over Sheffield Wednesday, just as you mentioned that. Um, Bristol City 0-0 at home to Lots Forest. Now this game in particular could even put Bristol, I'm not saying it can put them in there, you know, as it stands, I'm saying metaphorically, if I pronounce that correctly. Um, you know, mentally it could, you know, do a bit of damage on West Brom. Um, but every game you've got to move on just like us fans. Um, but as far as this result goes, I'll go for a 2-1 West Brom with Albion win. My last one for this midweek games is Reading versus Leagues. Leagues 2-1 over Luton Town away from home. Reading losing 1-0 away from home against Brentford. Um, this, I think this game's only going to go one way, so I'm just going to give you the result over. And I'll go for 3-0 Leagues win. But anyway, guys, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Share for now.